is particularly around career planning, um, what pathways um, they might um, need to take in terms of education, and we've brought in some Māori nurses as well to share their stories um, so that they get some inspiration uh, from them um, as to uh, where they could see themselves in the future. And part of my role out in practice is to ensure that they integrate their culture into their professional practice. Um, so it's not about leaving one at the door. Uh, and usually when they have left one at the door, it's been their cultural practice that they've left. So it's about having those conversations and those strategies that they can use and to ensure that their Māori or Pacific culture is at the forefront of their nursing. Um, being able to be part of a cultural support group that helped me to understand myself better so that I could understand others better and that's a really important part of my job is like understanding how other people are feeling or understanding parts about other people that some others may miss and how that can help them in their health journey. Having this opportunity that Chris has um, put together of interacting and following a tanga with um, others of that same cultural heritage has been really um, a good journey for me to put the pieces together of who I am and how I fit in this world and how that reflects on the way I care for my patients. I interviewed for three different DHBs and Chris was on the panel um, for my interview for the Waikato DHB and I remember walking out and my brother had come in with me feeling um, pretty excited and it was the only interview of the three that I had where I felt like um, this was an establishment that wanted me um, and that, that they were working hard to impress me. I think the value has come from being part of a greater um, collective. Um, and having a good sense of fauna and connection to um, those who have been through the journey, perhaps not having as much support. It's awesome being a part of a like a a work fauna, I suppose. So I just having having my other colleagues there, like the support, and yeah, just seeing how they cope with situations and and find out what works for them best and then try and use that in my practice as well and then just in life too. It's been super supportive. Um, I work there in paediatrics and this little group has become like my Fano. It's just a great place to work, the Waikato DHB, and I couldn't imagine being happier.